How's it going, everybody? Happy Monday. Unhappy Monday. Whatever your uh, choice is there. Just a quick uh, video today. Uh, not much has been happening. Um, at least prepping-wise, garden-wise, or anything like that. I just had the boys, both of their birthdays, they're uh, one, four years and one day apart. Um, so Friday was one of my kids' birthday, and uh, Saturday was my other's, and his was the 16th. So uh, we had a bunch of kids out here and camping and party. They had a good time. So that was the whole past week is, was planning and then buying the supplies and setting up and all that. So, it takes up a lot of the time. So, just a couple things um, that I just wanted to point out. So, I did harvest peas today, um, but we're ready. Um, and that was the pile. Obviously, those are just the shells. And uh, out of all that, this is what I got. So, good supply, still. That's not even enough for one meal for my family. We have five in this house. But I think what I'm going to do with those is, uh, I mean, there's still plenty on there that aren't ready yet. Um, I'm going to get enough uh, peas for one meal. Uh, and then I'm going to let the rest go uh, to seed. Because I think I only had, I have to look back on the older video, 24 seeds um, to begin with and I planted all of those so I want to plant a lot more next year uh, so obviously I need a lot more seed and uh, all you do is just let these go I, I'm assuming they're just like beans uh, just let these go on the uh, vine and uh, let them dry let the pods dry and let those dry and then take them and hang them up let them really dry out good and then those will be ready for uh, planting next year so the other thing is that those tomato plants the uh, the ones that um, the suckers that I planted um, after they had root uh, they did survive this the extreme heat that one did um, it's doing very well, and uh, so is the one over here. That one's doing well. That's more in the shade. It's surviving, doing well. Um, I, re I replanted the beet um, that I'm just going to keep uh, having leaf uh, until next year, and then plant it um, and uh, have it go to seed. Now, if anybody knows... Um, I was wondering about that. Do I have to wait until next year? I mean, it grew. I cut it and I put it back in. So would it grow up the seed now, or does it? Do you have to? I don't understand why you have to wait a year. I'm not sure. So if anybody knows that, let me know. So and then these uh, suckers that I had sitting in here are ready. Well, some of them. Some of them aren't yet. Um, they didn't all die. So, <clears throat> the roots on that. So that'll be it. And that's what they look like when I planted them. Um, so that's about all you need. So, I got a couple of them that are uh, not ready yet. Not quite. And then, uh, a few that are. That one's definitely ready. So I'll probably do that this evening. Take those out to the garden and stick them in there and see what happens so that's pretty cool that uh i'm growing tomatoes off that or plants off the off the suckers after you get them to root so learning throughout this whole this whole season of uh gardening just learning how to what to what to do right and what i did wrong and um what works and what doesn't so the uh jalapeno plants that I grew aren't doing much. The ones out in the garden are actually uh, have little tiny jalapenos popping out on them. Um, so they did survive. Um, when I burned them out, I thought I had lost them all, so some of them did, did make it. So that's pretty cool. 
And uh, now these, man, I have, I don't know if you can see the beetles all over this. They're driving me nuts. But they're not ruining the, the harvest. I'm still coming out every single day and getting strawberries off this. Um, some of them are smaller than others, obviously. But, uh, but they're all still delicious. And there's still some on there. I think they're done. I don't know though. They might not be, because those are still coming out, so they might still be producing. So, but I, I, you can't, the only thing I knew, I've seen so far to spray on things is uh, like soap and water while they're on there. But I don't want to spray soap and water on my strawberries. So then I got soapy strawberries. The whole point is to uh, be able to eat them right off the, right outside, right off the plant. So I don't know, I don't know what to do with that either. So any uh, suggestions? Throw them in the comments. I always appreciate the comments. And uh, that's about it for today. Uh, next video will hopefully get something a little more elaborate. Um, but it's just been ridiculously hot out. Um, haven't been able to do much of anything. It, it cooled off for the weekend, luckily. Um, so the kids were able to enjoy their, their birthdays. And today it's just right back up there. It's just, uh, I mean, I know it's only 85 here, which, you know, down south other people would be like, 85, you know, that's, uh, I gotta put a coat on for that. But, I mean, it's, the humidity, um, is, is horrible. So I go out in the sun and I just, I just start melting. So, it could be the beer too. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to get off here. Everybody have a great rest of the week. See you.